Synthesizer from GRP, the A4, and on the other side is the ARP 2600. So analog stuff is still the thing, yes. Yeah, many, yeah, many musicians I have interviewed and people that do compose music for film, they are going back to the analog stuff. The yeah, that makes is. sense because uh, uh, analog sound synthesis is um, still the thing mm -hmm. since uh, 50, 60 years. And uh, if you if you are looking for um, a special kind of sounds which are dense character, uh, very, very, very uh, intense sounding somehow it's not it's very difficult to describe but if you if you if you are looking for a special kind of sound you you must use analog synthesizers there's no plugins are very very interesting very perfect today and uh, you can do uh, music or sounds with uh, plugins which are impossible to realize with uh, hardware synthesizers but um, you, as we all do, we combine all worlds. We use a little bit here and a little bit there, and, and so, and um, the result is a layer, a, a mixture of everything, I would say. Yeah, that's great. I, have you ever, I, I think I read somewhere you, um, I don't know, you ever compose um, music for films, or I think I, I read that you, you compose music for imaginary film, film that do not exist. And uh, have you been hired to do a uh, composition for a f uh, doing a film score? Or? Unfortunately, not because. Uh, but this is my biggest wish in my life, I must say, yeah. because uh, after leaving so much behind um, the whole record business, you can say, um, I, I always think that my music fits perfectly to to music in uh, in a film. Yes, to, yeah. to, 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 to movies, whatever. But um, you can imagine it is so hard to enter this, uh, uh, this scene. And if you have no connections or no, uh, no requests or no, nobody says, uh, okay, your music is interesting. I would like to use it in my film. So this is so difficult. And, but I, I still feel and I still think uh, um, films would be the best place for my music. Yes. Yeah, that you, that I, you're in dream from, from sound and from sound, I'm still um, thinking that I make music for the big screen. Yes, uh, so it's 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 very opulent and very very massive sometimes, and I think that this fits very good for for beautiful ab images. Ab 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 absolutely, Tangier Tan Tan and Dream, for example, have done like over I don't know fifty or sixty in film score, you know, and. Uh, Yes, they had the luck to enter the market uh, when nobody else did uh, exactly. electronic music for films. That was something <clears throat> yeah. new in those days. Yes, and uh, then um, they had opened a door for many yeah. others. You, yeah. you need to. Go, I think you need to convince Hans Zimmer to use your music for some of. <laughs> yeah, we we know each other, and um, yes, it's yeah. very difficult to get him. I must say, I have my experience from uh, from the memorial plague times. Um, yes, he's so busy, and he has his uh, he has his guys. And I I must be honest, I I'm sure I'm too old for 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 this uh, heavy. No, come business. on, yes. no, no, ah, no. come on. <laughs> you're not. You're you're doing very good this year. Hopefully yeah, one maybe, day. Maybe yeah. he's listening to our, our interview and he will say, oh, Bernd Kistner, yes, that's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, I, I would love to, uh, hopefully I will, one day I will have the opportunity to interview uh, Hans Zimmer because I like his music. And uh, also I would like to interview Werner Herzog, of course, because I, I like his music. I began little by little doing some interview about film scores, film composer, and then... Um, and then I'm going, hopefully we'll have the opportunity to be, uh, uh, you know, directors as well. Because in the case of um, um, Bernard Herzog, he, he, <coughs> he used to work for people with, with from Bubble Boo. And uh, the, I don't know if you know the music is very, very good. The, yeah, Boo. I know. Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Course. So I, um, I may interview one person. And then when I'm Germany, I'm going to be interviewing another person that one of the few left from the original Pop of Busta. So uh, mm -hmm. I like uh, I like all kind of music, man. I, I 
for electronic music, for pop, for film score, for jazz, for rock. I have a, a wide range of stuff that I listen to. And uh, being able to now interview all those famous people like yourself, you know, it's an honor for me. I'm, a, I'm an engineer. I, I do, I have my day job. This is, this is, I do this for fun, you know. Uh, all my radios are free. I have a lot of music. I pay music rights. Um, you know, they're 24 hours a day. Uh, no advertising, no social media. Music and interviews that for, forever are going to be free. So one day in 50 years from now, the internet exists. They exist and say, hey, who was Klaus Schulze? Uh, who was Byrne? Who is uh, Manuel Goshi? Who is Michael Honey? We listen to the interviews. They're all there. They're always going to be free. So it's it's an honor for me to <laughs> to talk to talk to you guys. But um, looking back in your career, I mean, there are many moments that are special for you. Any 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 regrets or things you could have done differently? I mean, for oh, example, yes. right? If you have not left in two hundred one to get. To get, you know, to get a job and then coming back in in two or nine, right? Those were eight years, right, or nine years that you could have done a lot of great stuff. Maybe, maybe not, right? Maybe it was no. to for you to walk away and then come back with new ideas, new energy, new ways to do look do things. No, no. In this special case, I, I do not regret my my decision. I, I I still feel that was it was important and it was a good one, um, but. If I look back, yes, um, there are some some moments also in the beginning of my career where I think I believed and trusted in two wrong into the wrong persons and to the wrong friends. Yes, that really? was really that that was really. A, 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 I will not go too much into details, but there were some moments. If I could um, restart them, uh, I would really do other decisions and uh, the other problem is I I, mm, I was too late uh, self-confident about that what I wanted to do I, I, I listened too much on ah oh, you should do this and you should do that and, and go this way and go that way and uh, yes I should have been more confident in, in doing the right thing because if you if you follow the path of your heart you 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 know what you have to do you 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 really know this yes and um i i allowed my to myself to to often to get disturbed in those uh yes decisions yeah, yeah. but yes it's all everything is life that is like it is yeah. and uh, I don't. I don't know. Next time, better. <laughs> yeah. Sometime in life, you know, you need to make a left turn, a right turn, left turn, and yeah. then that take you somewhere, as opposed to going that way, whatever that yeah. means. Yeah. But that's you know, maybe, maybe it's a permanent way. learning process, and maybe maybe it's important that you go the wrong way to to understand what the right way is for you. Maybe this is a learning process. Yes. Yeah. Um, how, in your opinion, how Berlin? Well, of course, Berlin is well known for, well, many, many, for many political reasons, but for the music point of view, for the Beatles, Berlin is this, Berlin is called the music and the, the, the and for that many electronic musicians, how in the world, you know, the, the Edgar Frosse, the, the Klaus Schulze, Peter Baumann, yourself, uh, Edgar Frosse, Tangerine Dream, and many, 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 how, how, how many in the world, you know, in a, in, a, in a city called Berlin, you know, so many, many great musicians of electronic music where they, they, they came. What was, how, what, how the, please, please describe the, 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 music, the music scene in, in Berlin, like 40 years ago and nowadays. How, what do you think that Berlin is well known to be the, 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 the school of music? Uh, to be honest, um, Berlin is today known for lots of different music, but yeah. not for Berlin School. I would say Berlin School of Electronic Music um, found a silent end at the end of 1989 when the wall came down because yeah. the, the time changed completely. And um, that was no longer the old uh, mood of um, 
very comfortable comfortable living in, in in West Berlin, for example, because West Berlin was an island that no longer existed. Yes, and um, it's it's uh, interesting to see that really with a with a that moment when the wall came down, the music changed completely, and um, we all know that was the moment when when everything started with techno and with club music and it was electronic dance music and um, <clears throat> yes sometimes if you um, listen to journalists today uh, which are reporting about electronic music from berlin um, they de they don't know that something happened before 1990 it's it's really like that and um, we all uh, are not um, have maybe not uh, that de deserved place in, in in music history, which one of them have deserved. Yes, for example, Tension Dream or Klaus Schulze. Also, one reason why because uh, why I, I, I am uh, uh, why I initiated this uh, memorial play for the Electronic Beat Studio because it, it's important now. Uh, before everything goes forgotten, uh, to to remember in this period of time, where such um, uh, musical yeah um, development was was possible. Yes, it was that was in the sixties and seventies. That was a special time where many new ideas came together also new technologies and and there also young musicians were fed up by by old structures and wanted to do something completely new not to replay the boring music from from wherever and to create something new and that was the basis for that what we know as berlin school Yes, and um, this is now on, there's a danger to, to become forgotten. Everything is past, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. And uh, it, it's, it makes also not sense to, to, to uh, cry a tear about the good old times. They, they are over. It's, this is fact. Yes. But something important in music history happened there. And this is important yeah, to, yeah. To, to remember in that. And with techno, um, Yes, um, also also many guys which started with techno are in the age today where they say, "Oh, the good old times of techno." Yes, so, so everything goes <laughs> goes by. Yes, and uh, um, yes, that's that's normal in life, I think. But um, yes, it was a special time where, where some good things came together. Yes. Yeah, I will. I I, I have an idea that I will I will not tell you it to be, but I will tell you. When we meet in Berlin, it's something that I want to do. Uh, I, I, I have an idea about uh, a way to um, commemorate, like in a park, in a public park or something. I, I, I have the idea here. I need to, I need to okay. work it out. But I will tell you there that I want to I wanna do something. something I'm nice. excited to know. <laughs> oh, you're going, you're going to like it. I know exactly what I want to wanna, wanna do. Wanna do and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and commemorate because um, for two reasons, right? One is a selfish reason for me, uh, electronic music is very important in my life. And, uh, and uh, you know, all the, all the big names, right? Everybody knows like Peter Baum and Klaus Schulz and yourself, Harold and uh, Mario and all the, all the big names, but Tangerine Dream. But, um, but there are many people that are perhaps early in the beginning didn't make it, and, and, and you know, and, and of course, Klaus Schulz is one probably the, the best. Ed, Klaus Schulz and Edgar Frosty, you know, who doesn't, it's not with us anymore. Are, well, no, there are many, many people that perhaps didn't make it, right? That, that they were good musicians, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, my family, I never told you, but my family came from Munich, actually. And uh, uh, in the 1882, 1882, there was a big migration of, um, Italians, about 10,000 families from Italy moved to Argentina, and then about 10,000 families from Germany moved to the south of Chile. I was born in, in Chile. Yeah. So in, in Chile, in the south of Chile, is a big, big German community. So uh, my mother's last name is Hoferberg. So, of course, I don't speak the language, and I was born in Chile, and then I came to the United States to study, but uh, I... 
if it wasn't for my German ancestor that came from Munich, and that's the reason I'm going to Munich, is a, a couple of graves that I always visit. If it wasn't for them, our upbringing would have been very different, very uh, different. So I'm, I'm very grateful to, uh, you know, my family and South Germany and, and, and uh, from Munich and then to the Electronic School of Music that has given me a lot of satisfaction. So, so this is a very special return to, to your... Of course, of course, you know, and I, I go to, uh, I've never been in Berlin, but I have been in, you know, in, in Munich like three times and every time they go, I go and visit the graves and put flowers because it's made. So in many ways, uh, I, I want to, you know, I, I want to contribute a little bit, you know, mm. and, I, and I will tell you, and I will tell you more when I'm there. And um, okay. you have been busy, very busy with your YouTube channel. Do you, you like doing that? Oh, this is uh, this is a lot of work. Yes, it's uh, it's, it's uh, I I am training to to perform better in front of a camera. This is not easy. I I, I try to learn um, better the filming stuff, and I yeah. I uh, I'm try I learn to come to more quicker to to the point. Uh, what I will talk about, and yes, now it, it makes a lot of fun. It's it's uh, um, producing these videos is um, fantastic because um, for me it's it's uh, it became a little bit boring to sit in front of a computer and to edit music and so and do the same uh, and again and again. And I wanted to do something new, and um, yes, I. I discovered now um, this uh, YouTube thing for for me and for my for my skills. Yes, can say that. And um, I think yes, we are in, we are living in in very uh, in times of visibility. Yes, you know, and, and we want to see everything in a computer. We are sitting in front of our computer, and um, there are so many things to learn, to discover, and uh, I will try to find my own way. I hope it, it will be successful. I, I do this since March this year, and um, the start is not so bad. I hope it will be much more happen there. But um, yes, I like the idea of uh, presenting synthesizers in front of camera, talking about technology. But also, and this is uh, the important thing. I, I um, um, besides this uh, freak out your synth um, idea, I have also installed uh, another yes, called, can say playlist that yeah. is called One Synth Only. And if I feature a special synth in in in, in one episode, I play this synthesizer only, because I I am the man who comes from 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 keyboard castles using permanently 10 keyboards and so on. But this is also an old way and, and you can produce music with one synthesizer. And this is what, what I show. I, I, I bring my talent into to compose a little piece of music, if, if you like it or not. It's another question, but <clears throat> I show, I use this synthesizer, I play one piece of music, and if you have not the money to to in, to afford uh, 10,000 synthesizers, uh, decide for one special item and use this and you can in combination with a computer, for example, produce a complete track of music. And this is the message if you want to see, say. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm sorry. I'm hope, I hope you continue to do well. If you look back in your life, um, of course, I know that Klaus Schulze had been a, a, an influence of many German musicians, but uh, is any, you know, if you look back in your career, what, are, what do you think that the, the top musical influence in, in the way you play and the, the music that you have produced and, <clears throat> and record and so so. Um, yes, I must say, beside um, the whole Berlin stuff, um, uh, I, I stopped to follow in, in the 90s and in, in, in the, yes, and, and later, of course. But I, I'm also a big fan uh, of Vangelis, yeah. I must say, oh. because he has the ability to tell a story in three minutes um, where other people uh, need 35 minutes for and, and don't come to a point. Yes. And um, he's, he showed me how to write songs or how to come to the point. Yes. And this uh, is really a thing where I was knocked down from very early times when he did the Aphrodite child thing and, and whatever he started in his solo career. And um, 
but from the most the the most influential recording must say yes uh, which which changed my life uh, was really um, the album moon down from klaus schulze yes the track floating was um, that unbelievable combination between electronic and rock music and um, this track has still a drive to me uh, where I still say, how did he do it? And it was, it's really, um, yes, an all-time favorite track for me. Yeah. He did so many good things in this times, but um, this is really on top. Floating mm. was really great, yeah. But yes, of course, I'm, I'm from time to time, I'm listening to other music. Also, in the last years, I, I, I listened a lot of to to music from from Hans Zimmer, for example, which I, I, I like very much because his music works um, very often without the movie. You can listen the album and you must not see the movie. And I I feel entertained by this. And for for this <clears throat> and and looking to him, I must say the album uh, Inception is, is for me the absolutely killer killer album still. That's a very good album. Yeah, he's a very he's a very talented guy. Guy. Yeah. Was, what, last, was last samurai? Last samurai? No, last samurai. Also, right? Yeah, yeah. Was uh, Edgar Frost very influenced? Tangerine Dream in general, kind of, kind of influence. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, um, this was the music I I I, I listened to uh, before Klaus Schulze. Yes, Klaus Schulze came into my life in the mid of seventies, and when he, when when Moondown was played in in, in Berlin radio. Yeah. But uh, yes, before it was Faidra Rubicon. This uh, this music was yes, of course. The, the use of uh, MOOC synthesizers and and, and MOOC sequencers was uh, unbelievable, and the mixture mixture the sound experiences, and it was. So off world what they did uh, in those days, and um, later they became more and more commercial, which I didn't like so much. But in the very first beginning, there, that was pure. Uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. Stuff. Like maybe the first six albums of Tangerine Dream were, yeah, were very good. The rest they were the same thing again, the same thing again, the same thing again. Yeah, it was it became more yeah more song structure and more. Like a business, and uh, nowadays, after Edgar Frost passed away, and I don't know, there's a lot of yeah. conflict and whether <clears throat> you continue a standard dream or not. And I don't know. I don't. I don't want involved in politics, but I, I have interviewed people that have played standard dream about ten, ten different people that have played in one moment or another in standard dream, and oh, I have like ten different versions about you know the stuff, but. I, I enjoyed, you know, I love to. You are a fan, yeah, of course. I, I'm a fan, right? I have about, from Time and Dream, I may have, um, I don't know, like 20, 20 vinyl records and about 50 CDs. I have a big music collection. I mean, I have four floor of music. So, I know people who have more. <laughs> and, and then from Tangerine, yeah, and, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, but the diehard they, collectors have more. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I collect stuff. And, uh, and then, but, the first, yeah, Ruby Gorn and yeah, one of the first early stuff from Tangy Dream was was the best in, in my opinion. But you know, it's every every. But the music that the the film composition, the film score, they, they were some of them were very good as well. And uh, you have um, you have tour, you know, in many countries, in many cities in the world. Is any particular concert that that you will never forget, or perhaps is the one that you did with Klaus Schulze that you will look back and say, man, that's the best I played. The music was great. The people was good. You know, I could die tonight and I would be happy with my career, you know. Yeah, it was definitely that one with, with uh, Klaus Schulz and Dresden. It was really an experience. And um, <clears throat> yeah, but also this one in, in Paris 2009 was, was a great thing because uh, it was so important to me uh, with all that background that I returned to to business, yes, and that was so. I wanted to do everything good, so yes, I I, I still believe that was a, a very important concert. Later, it became a little bit more uh, um, more stress into this whole thing because the whole situation changed. It was more difficult to get um, organized uh, or to 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 
yes, to get more concerts and to get more good organized concerts, well organized concerts. And it was uh, in 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 2017, I had a um, sold out show in Hamburg in the planetarium. Yeah. And um, that was also the moment where I decided to to stop with that business. Yes, yes it was a good concert, but the, the circumstances were not so nice. And and then I said, is it is it this that you want for the rest of your life, or isn't it? And I decided to to stop with this. Yes. Gotcha. Do you do you miss playing uh, touring and playing live music, or, or no? But no, I, I stopped with that. As I, I really, uh, I've given no concert since uh, 2017. And um, then uh, with Corona, everything stopped. So so that was uh, no option, no longer. And um, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I'm, I'm missing not so much. And uh, yes, maybe if, if somebody uh, comes and, and, and has a good idea, yes, I, I would maybe think about returning, but not so for this, uh, get your stuff into your car and come over and uh, for 500 euro, you can play uh, three hours, but uh, then you can go home again. And so, no, that's no longer. <laughs> I'm too old for this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 too old for this rock business. No, no. Yeah, but people people in uh, you know in Germany, you know, um, and especially in Berlin, they they like still they like electronic music. I don't know if the young people like it or the old people uh, like that, but it, it's you know like for example, right? So uh, Manuel Goshin uh, did a concert a couple of weeks ago with with Hans Rodilius and. Uh, um, I think they did okay. You know, I, I interviewed Manuel uh, Goshin uh, like uh, the week before they put the concert, and, and I think a lot of people went to that concert. Well, a lot of people maybe. I don't know. I don't country. know what happened there, but I was I, I did not attend. But um, yes, I mean, uh, everybody must uh, go his own path to through life. Yes, if, if, yeah. if, if they if they are happy with that, uh, it's okay. Yes, and. Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. So, wh what are your plans? What are your plans for the near, the near future for, uh, for, for, for yourself? What? Yeah, definitely the book. Uh, yeah. I hope. I hope. I will. There will happen something very soon with it, and um, also definitely producing more episodes of Freak Out Your Synth. Yeah. That's it's a plane. And I, I, I think it's it's work enough and I must do not, not, not much more at the moment because I pump everything into that uh, YouTube thing and um, yeah. yes, it keeps me busy and happy and that's it. It's okay. A lot of, you have a lot of listening in your YouTube channel that listen to your stuff or not? Sorry, sorry. Do you have a lot of listeners in YouTube? A lot of people follow, follow you and... Not not much love. Uh, I I need much more subscribers on the channel and, and yeah. more vis visitors, and this is very important. Also, yeah, we can then say we know this. This is uh, also YouTube can also become an economically uh, important basis today. And um, yes, um, there are other channels which are, are much much more. Um, uh, successful, but they are also much longer on on the on the online than than that what I am doing. So uh, I need more promotion, more communication. So yes, but the right. things yeah. go up. It's it's okay at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to uh, before I go to uh, Germany, I I wanna buy like a nice like professional camera to film because instead of doing this over over the internet, <clears throat> I would like to have, you know, more a professional interview and uh, would, would, be, would, would be fun to do it, you know. Uh, with on me the or, or what? Yeah, with you, I'm, I'm going to be interviewing Manuel Goshi again and, and, you know, like a nice camera, I don't know, nice, uh, nice settings, you know. Yeah, maybe if you if you want to do something, we can meet us here in my little studio and, and, yeah, yeah. and, and film something. Of course, yeah, you know, to that to to help you as well, no, just me, you know, to help you. Okay, as well. great. And then, and yeah. then you can put in your, your 
And this interview, when I send you a link, you can put in YouTube channel. You can do whatever you want. I mean, I'm very happy that people give me an hour of the time, an hour of their life. So I want them to uh, get something out of it, you know, as well, you know. So and um, thank you. So and um, so I have only two more questions left. So so what uh, what what do you do for fun when when no music related? Uh, you like soccer? You like football? Or? No, 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 not so much. I'm really yeah. no, no, the biggest um, um, soccer fan from time to time in a nice game, yes, but I'm not not very much into it. No, I I I, I uh, like to to uh, be together with my wife, and and we have to uh, to share some some time. And um, yes, I'm I'm making some spots sometime a little bit uh, jogging around so the most time i'm i'm really here working on my stuff and i must say it's 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 uh, it's both it's my hobby and it's my job it's 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 it's, it's, it's not not more that that i'm not more feeling that pressure to do something so i i do the things that i want to do yes and i do them with fun and and this is more important than anything else to me yeah Got you, got you. Uh, feel free to mention your Batcam so people, listeners can buy your music. I want them to buy, as, you know, many stuff from you. And so feel free to elaborate your Batcam name and your website. And I, I, I sh yeah, my, 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 my name. If you enter my name on Google, you will find my my website and my Facebook channel and uh, yeah. my my Bandcamp shop and uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, everything is, is is in the internet. Yeah, and then <laughs> when when I upload the interview, I will I will I will enter the description the name so people can go to your channel and okay, yeah, cool. And buy your music. Yeah, of course. That's what you know. You give me an hour of your time, so that's the least I can do for you. And. Uh, that was a, it was very nice uh, interview with you, Bernd. Quite sure when I'm Berlin, we'll do part two and part three because there are too many topics that we want to go in extra music. And, uh, and uh, it was very nice talking to you. And uh, keep up the good work, the good music. Keep on releasing your stuff. And uh, like you mentioned before, don't listen to anybody. Listen to your own voice inside yourself and go left, go right, whatever it is. And then keep on producing good music because you're young, man. You have a lot of stuff. You know, a lot of great music to be done and produced, and hopefully, some you know, and, uh, movie director can listen to this review and give your your chance, uh, give your music a chance, and uh, and, and play Thank that music. Much, in film. Huh? Thank you very much, Claudio, for having me. No, no problem. A, Thank you, man. Was an honor. Thank you. Thank you, and I, and I will see you in in less than ten months, in less than two months. Yeah, great. Happy to meet you. Take care, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Take it easy, man. Goodbye. Thank you.